Nothing tastes better than a carrot fresh out of the garden, Tunip. I'll get this one for you, me hearty. These vines are perfect for swinging. You should try it, Tweet. No thanks, Quasi. I'm happy just pulling up carrots. Ah, <sighs> that's not very exciting. There's got to be some action around here somewhere. <laughs> Captain, I think I'm going to take the gut bee out for a spin because, uh, because I need to, um... Let me guess. Practice your driving skills. Aye, oh, that's it. Practice my driving skills. <laughs> Those dolphins are fast, even the babies. But I reckon I can catch up with them. Wow! Woohoo! It's nice to take the gut bee out for a little excitement. <laughs> Looks like you brought back a friend. A friend? <gasps> a baby dolphin? Huh. He must have followed you inside, Quasi. Oh, he's just a baby. Poor little matey. He needs his mother. And we're going to find her. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get this baby dolphin back to his mother. I wonder how he lost his mummy. I was driving the gut bee near some dolphins. He must have started following me instead of his mother for some reason. He must have got caught in your slipstream, Quasi. What's a slipstream? Dolphin mothers swim so fast that they make a path in the water behind them called a slipstream. The slipstream pulls the dolphin baby along and helps it keep up with its mother. But this baby dolphin must have got carried away in the gut bee slipstream. Yeah, I'm sorry, little matey. It must have happened when I drove between you and your mum. I wonder why he keeps whistling like that. Every dolphin makes a different sound that other dolphins know. Dolphin mothers know their babies by their special sounds. So, we can use this baby dolphin's sounds to help us find his mother. Tweak. We'll need the microphone and recorder. Got it, Cap. First, we'll record his sounds and then we'll play it while we search. And his mummy will recognize the special sound. Ready, set, whistle! Come here, little matey. Don't be afraid. He likes you, Quasi. Why don't you try? Um, give us a nice whistle now. Perfect. We've got our recording for the search. Shellington, Dashy, into the gup E. Peso, into the gup A with me. We'll spread out and search for the dolphin's mother. And Quasi, you stay here and babysit. I can. Oh, what? Did you say stay here and babysit? Yeah, you're the best one for the job, Quasi. Me? A babysitter? Yes. The baby dolphin really seems to like you. Keep a close eye on him. But, Captain, I... Quasi, open the octo hatch. Let's split up so we can cover more ground. Aye, aye, Captain. Don't worry, little matey. They'll find your mother. All we have to do is wait. <sighs> Waiting's not very exciting, is it? <gasps> Come on, matey. We're going outside to play. Oh, this looks like a good place. Well, go 
Go ahead now. Play. But don't go far, little matey. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, you got me again. A seashell? You want to play fetch, do you? Fast little dolphin. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> what is it, little matey? <laughs> Careful, matey. Those lobster claws can really pinch. Yeah. Go snap somewhere else. Okay. Here you go, little dolphin. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's race to the other side of the rocks, eh? Ready, set, go! Ah, dolphins! Excuse me, do you recognise this sound? <laughs> nope, uh, it doesn't sound familiar, but earlier today we saw some other dolphins back that way. Maybe they'll know the sound. Thanks. I hope we can find them, Captain. <laughs> Never heard that whistle before, I'm afraid. Oh. But I did see a dolphin looking for her baby a few minutes ago. She was on the other side of that reef. Oh, thanks. Dashy to Captain Barnacles. Captain, we have a lead on the mother dolphin. She's on the other side of the reef. Good work, Octonauts. Let's go. Add a dolphin! Now try this! Hey, where'd he go? Oh no, where is he? Little matey, come back to Quasi! Where are you? Look, over there! Um, excuse me, is this the sound of your baby? <laughs> yes, it is. I've been looking everywhere for him. Do you know where he is? We'll take you to him. Follow our slipstream. Oh, thank goodness. Barnacles to Quasi. We found the baby dolphin's mother and we're on our way back to the octopod. Uh, great. Me and the baby will be right here waiting for you when you get back. Barnacles out. Oh, this is terrible. I can't find him anywhere. Mmm, <laughs> lunch is served. <laughs> oh, no, lunch is cancelled. He's gone, and you're safe. You can't just go off on your own like that. Stay close to me, matey. Huh? <laughs> He's your mother. Oh, my baby. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for keeping my baby safe. Just doing me job as an octonaut. And a babysitter. Come on, it's time for us to go. Go on with your mum now. For me? Thanks, little matey. Goodbye, and thank you. Good work, Octonauts. And especially you, Quasi. Thanks, Captain. This belongs with me other treasures. I'll remember you always, little matey. Everyone, please, just hold your seat.
seahorses. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Tunip. No problem. Peso, this gull needs your help right away. Hmm. Let me guess. A giant fish head jumped out of the water and crashed into you. Well, yes. Well, how did you know? Every single creature who's come into Sick Bay today says they were hit by a giant fish head. Yes, yes. We'll giant fish head. Exactly. Yes. A giant yes. fish head. Giant fish head. I've never heard of anything like this before. I'd like to come face to face with this giant fish head myself. Well, believe me, it's a monstrous sight. You'll be as good as new after a little rest. Oh, lovely. Captain, there could be more patients out there who need help but can't make it to sick bay. Agreed. Peso, take the gup E and look for hurt creatures. Quasi, you go with him and stop this monstrous giant fish head before he strikes again. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> giant fish heads lurking down here. And I don't see any hurt creatures either. Let's head to the surface. <laughs> Nothing up here except a giant fish head! <laughs> oh no, that guy is hurt. <laughs> We've got you, Mr. Gull. <sighs> Thanks for the landing pad. Oh, I can't fly with this wing. There you go, good as new. Giant fish in the mountain. Um. Quasi to Octopod, come in, Octopod. Go ahead, Quasi. Captain, we've been attacked by the giant fish head, and the gun is sinking. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi and Peso have been hit by a giant fish head. A giant fish head? <laughs> yes, their gup is sinking and we need to go after them. The gup sees all ready to go. Very good. Shellington, you're with me. We open the octo hatch. You got it, Cap. Yeah, he's so heavy, he's taking the cup down fast. And stop! Help! We need to pull him out. Aye, before he crashes the cup right into the sea floor. How about a little help? Right on time, Captain. Shellington will attach the tow line to the gup E. <laughs> tow line secure, Captain. Very good. <laughs> now, let's give it a good, strong tug. One, two, three. Guys, you're not a giant fish head. You're a sunfish, the largest bony fish on Earth. But where's your tail, matey? <laughs> sunfish like me don't have tails. We're all head. The name's Sonny. Nice to meet you, Sonny. Now please stop crashing into things. I, I didn't mean to. I've got a bad case of the itchies. Sometimes jumping out of the water splashes them off. A bad case of the itchies. Hmm. Let me take a look. Oh my. You have lots and lots of parasites. Parasites are tiny things that live in your scales and make you itchy. Uh oh. Here comes another attack of the itchies. Yeah. Yeah. We've got to get rid of his parasites and fast, or he'll just keep Ooh. crashing into. Look out! Sometimes, sunfish throw their bodies around to shake off parasites. <laughs> uh, uh, 
But they can also get rid of their parasites by letting other creatures clean them off. What creatures, Shellington? Sometimes, cleaner fish do the job underwater. Other times, a sunfish will go to the surface and let gulls clean the parasites from above. Coming through! Ah, oh. it's, it's, it's. Sonny, if you go up to the surface, lie on your side and relax, then gulls can clean you from above, while cleaner fish get rid of your itchies from below. But what if it tickles? <laughs> I don't like being tickled. But until you get rid of the parasites, you'll be itchy. All right, I'll try it. But if it tickles, I won't be able to keep still. Captain, the cleaner fish and gulls in Sick Bay should be perfect for this job. Agreed. Quasi, you and Shellington take the Gup C back to the octopod and then meet us at the surface with the cleaning crew. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, so you and I will help Sonny swim up to the surface without crashing into anything else. <laughs> Itchy sunfish coming through. Stay clear, please. Itch, itch. Uh -oh. itch. Wait, Sunny, Come turn around. Itch. Itch. I'm stuck. That current is strong. If we swim into it, we'll be stuck as well. We sunfish are big, but we're not very good swimmers because we don't have it. Barnacles to Quasi! We need to pull Sunny out of a strong current and we need... Booster packs, Captain! On our way! Hang on, mateys! This could be a wild ride! Oh, come on, come on, we haven't got all day! I guess the Gup C isn't the fastest Gup around. Get ready for turbo speed! I didn't know the Gup C had turbo speed! It doesn't! <laughs> ah! Yes, but I'm afraid he won't be able to keep still if it tickles. Oh, no tickling, please. No problem. We're all professionals. Right, guys? Right, okay. No tickling. I understand. All right, Sonny. On your side. Let the cleaning begin. Not a parasite on you. How do you feel? <sighs> Great. No itches at all, Doc. Thanks, guys. Sorry I crashed into all of you earlier. Next time you get a bad case of the itches, let us clean you before you go crashy, got it? Clean before crashy. Got it. <laughs> Here's a sticker for being such a good patient. Hey, <laughs> that tickles. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't wait to see how my biggest patient is doing. Ah, 
I can't wait to see if your patient's really as big as you say, Peso. Here we are, the coral reef. Where's your patient? Captain, I don't see anything big. It's right here, Quasi. My patient is the coral reef. What? Of course. Coral reefs are made of coral, which is alive. The coral reef needs a checkup just like any other creature. That's true. The coral reef is home to lots of different animals. So if anything happened to the coral, they'd have nowhere to live. Aye, that is a big patient. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. What's wrong, Peso? This coral is turning white, Shellington, which means it's getting sick. There's another white spot over here. <gasps> Peso, you'd better take a look at this. Oh, no. The entire coral reef is getting sick. If anything happens to it, all these creatures will have to find a new home. There's only one thing to do. Quasi, Shellington, I need you to find me a small piece of healthy coral on the seafloor. Aye, aye, Peso. Let's go. Captain, I'll need to borrow your hydro drill. What are you planning, Peso? An emergency coral transplant. I drill a tiny hole into the sick coral. Here you go, a piece of coral. Perfect. Now, I'll put this piece of healthy coral into the hole and... There! That's a coral transplant. The piece of healthy coral will help make the sick coral better. Look! Great! We've saved a coral reef and just in time for lunch. I don't think so, Quasi. Look at all those white spots. I'm going to have to do a lot more coral transplants to make this reef healthy again. And we're going to help you. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the coral reef is sick. Our mission is to help Peso do as many coral transplants as it takes to make it healthy again. But the coral reef is huge. What's the plan? Dashi, you, Quasi and Tunip will search for healthy pieces of coral on the sea floor. Shellington and Professor Inkling will sort through them to find the healthiest ones. Then Tweak and I will drill tiny holes in the reef and Peso will put the coral pieces into the holes. Now, everybody got it? Got, got it. it! Octonauts, let's do this. If we all work together, the reef will be healthy again in no time. <laughs> Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh, spiky sea urchin. <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. What was that? <laughs> huh? hm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Wanna play with us? We're blowing bubble rings! Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. Thank you, Dashi. <laughs> Have a look at this one, Shellington. Huh. This one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Jumping jellyfish! <laughs> Tag! You're it! <laughs> oh, my! There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady. Steady. What you doing? Yappity flippers! <laughs> 
You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They... Ooh, what's this? They love to play with each other. And make up new games. <laughs> hey, everybody. Check this out. <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose. <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose. Sponge nose, sponge nose. Hmm, <laughs> 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 fair. <laughs> oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins. We have very important work to do. If you could please just play. You can't catch me! Oh, enough is enough. Oh. Whoa. Um, easy now. I just want to... Um... See how long you can hold on! Hey. Whoa. Thanks. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there. What's wrong with the reef? It's very sick and we're trying to help it. We find pieces of healthy coral and put them into tiny holes in the reef. Oh, so that's what you guys were doing. Find the coral, put it in the hole. Hey, that kind of sounds like a game. Can I play a help too? Hmm. Well, we do need all the help we can get, but um, what could you do? Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral. Hey, I found a piece. Ah, that sea sponge on your nose is a pretty good tool for finding coral in the sand. Found another one. Do you think you could show the other dolphins how to do that? Of course. Grab on, I'll give you a ride back to the reef. Let's go. Ready, everybody? Ready. Ready. Ah, ready. With all of us helping out, we'll be finished in no time. Five pieces of coral before you find one. Ah, you're on, matey. Mm. Another healthy one. Thank you. That's the last one. Here you go. Thanks. There, we're finished. The reef is starting to look healthier already. Yay! Great work, everybody. Dolphins, we never could have done it without your help. There's just one more thing. What is it? Tag, you're in! <laughs> <laughs> All right, settle in, everyone. The Vegimals have prepared hot chocolate. Kuba, oh, and kelp cakes. Thanks, Junip. Thanks for the snacks, matey. Uh, but what are we here to see? 
quite an amazing sight, actually. And that is? Dashi set up the remote cameras on the beach so we wouldn't miss a thing. Shiver me whiskers! What won't we be missing? Why, the baby sea turtles, of course. Oh, carry on, matey. Right now, the turtles are still in their eggs, in nests buried under the sand. I'll show you how they got their tunip. This is a video we took eight weeks ago. The mother sea turtles swim up onto the beach at night to lay their eggs. It's the only time they ever leave the water. And this is the same beach right now. The eggs have been under the sand all this time and should be ready to hatch at any moment. And we get to watch it happen. I can't wait. Ah, uh, nothing's happening, matey. Well, one can never be exactly sure when the eggs will hatch. It could be a few more minutes or a few more days. Days? <laughs> Have patience, everyone. I'm sure it'll be well worth the wait. What is it? Oh, are the eggs hatching? No, it's the wave tracker. A really big wave is in the area. It's moving fast and it's heading for the beach. Flippity flippers, what about the eggs? <gasps> They'll be washed away. Chopper! Won't they be safe buried under the sand? Sea turtle eggs are very sensitive. If they get too wet, they'll never hatch. Then we'd better do something. Dashi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have to rescue those eggs before the wave hits the beach. Once we've gathered up the eggs, we'll need to move them to a new beach, fast. Don't you worry about that, Shellington. We'll be ready. Come on, Tuna. Tuna! Everybody else, into the gut X. Right, we need to remove the turtle eggs from their nests and place them in these special transport containers. Please be careful. The eggs are very delicate and extremely sensitive to hot or cold. Yeah, fussy little things, aren't they? They are, Quasi. If they get too hot or too cold, they won't hatch. We'll be very careful. The wave is moving in fast. We'd better hurry. Octonauts, load those eggs. <laughs> the last one, Captain. Good. The wave is almost here. Tweak, we're ready for the Gup H. Roger that, Cap. Here we come. More tow lines, Tunip. Roger, roger. All right, Octonauts. Hook them up. Tweak, all lines are secure. Thanks, Cap. We'll get those eggs to safety faster and you can see bunch of munchy crunchy... Uh, hold on, Tweak. Oh, good catch, Gruber. This one nearly got away from us. Ah. Here comes the wave. Everyone, into the gut, now. Brace yourselves. Is everyone all right? Just a little dizzy, Captain. Yow! And ready to go again. Captain, the turtle eggs aren't out of danger yet. We have to get them to a new beach right away. This one is too wet. I think we may have found one, Shellington. Sending you some pictures now. Ah, it seems to have everything the turtles need. The right sand, the right slope, and the right distance from the water. Perfect. Tweak, send us the location and we'll meet there to make new nests for the eggs. Octonauts, let's do this. Does it? The eggs are all safely under the sand. Good work, Octonauts. Ah, I suppose there's nothing left to do now but wait for the eggs to hatch. Yeah, more waiting. I don't think we'll be waiting long, Quasi. Look. 
the hatching. Oh, that's wonderful. Maybe not. Sea turtle eggs usually hatch at night when there are fewer predators around to eat them. This beach must be colder than their old beach, which is making them think it's night time. Turtles? Wow! <laughs> Amazing! Oh, just wow. wonderful. Look at them! Huh? <laughs> You're the little guy that almost got left behind. There you go. Hey, put that back. I can do it myself. Oh, sorry, matey. Just trying to help. Thanks, but I don't need help. We sea turtles got to do this on our own. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't know what those things are, but they sound hungry. Gotta go. He's right. Those seagulls would love to have a baby sea turtle for a snack. Then it's up to us to make sure the turtles make it to the water safely. Vegemals, are there any fish biscuits in the Gup X? We'll need all the fish biscuits you've got to keep these gulls distracted. Keep it up, everyone. We just have to keep these gulls busy until all the baby turtles are in the ocean. Huh? <sighs> oh, me, oh, my. One of the baby turtles is going off course. Captain, it's your octocompass. Huh? Baby turtles use light to find their way to the water. The light bouncing off your compass must be confusing him. Keep the gulls away from him! Ha-ha! <laughs> Leave that to me, Captain! Yow! Feeding time, gulls! Take the biscuit! <laughs> ha! Woo! Take that! I'm sorry, little turtle. I didn't mean to confuse you. <laughs> there sure are a lot of not turtles on this beach. Oh, so it's you again. Don't worry, I've got you, little matey. Be careful, Quasi. His shell's not fully hardened yet. Then I'll call you... Soft shell. Good name, but could you please put me down? I want to get to the water all by myself. That's what we turtles do. There you go, soft shell. Just a little further. Thanks. Now no more helping me. I'm almost... <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Captain, that seagull's getting away with soft shell. Tweak, follow that bird. We're hot on his tail feathers, Cap. If I'd known this was going to happen, I'd have stayed in my egg. Tuna Otta! Tuna! What are you? Oh, I get it! Aha! Shell, you're okay. Take me to the water's edge, please. Exactly where I left off. There! I did it! All by myself. Well, almost. Thanks, Octonauts! See you later, Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Congratulations! Good luck out there. Nice work today, Octonauts. Those baby sea turtles are off to a good start. So, what happens to them now, Shellington? Well, they'll swim far out to sea and get bigger and bigger until it's time for them to return to this very beach and lay eggs of their own. How long does that take? Um, about 15 to 20 years. Yeah! That's a long time to wait. <laughs> Sorry, Gruber. I don't think we have enough fish biscuits to last that long. <laughs> <laughs> Open up and say, ah. Uh. Ah. Very good. Say, ah. Uh. Ah. Good. Say, ah. Uh. Ah. No, not.
not ah just ah ah mmm parrotfish just in time for lunch ooh I've never tried a penguin before oh I know I shouldn't eat you you seem so nice but I'm a great white shark I can't help it couldn't you try to help it I all right trying no Gotta eat you! Sorry! <gasps> Looks like a big metal fish. Never tried one of those. Captain Barnacles, come in. What is it, Peso? I'm being chased by a great white shark. <laughs> and he got a piece of the gum. <laughs> Tweak, open the octo hatch now. You got it, Cap. <laughs> That's horrible. I think I'd rather have the penguin. Just a little bit further, Peso. Tweak, close the octo hatch now. Ouch! What happened? Cap, the shark is stuck. But if we open the hatch any further, he'll get in. We need to create enough water pressure to blast the shark out without hurting him. Tweak, activate Super Flush. It worked. The shark is out. But look. <laughs> the shark must have hurt his fin swimming into the octopod. Looks like he could use a bandage. I suppose we should. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's an injured great white shark out there that needs our help. But we must be careful. The great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. That's true. He does like to eat, and he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Peso, I can bandage him. Um... Quasi, I'm the medic. It's my job to help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. <laughs> Shellington, is there a way to safely approach the great white shark? There is one way. Sometimes, when a shark is flipped over on its back, it gets very calm and peaceful. But he only stays that way for a short amount of time. I could bandage the shark if it were calm and peaceful, but he's swimming away. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Many sharks have to keep moving to stay alive. If they stop moving, they can't breathe. Then we'll need to flip the shark over to calm him down, keep him moving so he can breathe, and then Peso can bandage him up. Tweak, prepare the Gup X. Great white shark straight ahead. Attention, shark. We are the Octonauts, and we're here to help. Ooh, that looks tasty. It's all right. I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... Whoa! As I was saying, I... Oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. But a shark's got to eat. <laughs> he can't eat the cup eggs. Oh, he's getting tired. And if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yow! Oh, you shark! Uh, can you not see I'm trying to eat? You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! Oh! 
my fat hands, mm, but I'm still gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Ah, good work, Quasi. And flip. Oh, I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> that kind of tickles. <laughs> Good for a ride. OK, the shark is calm, he's moving and he's breathing. Now I can bandage his fin. Be careful, Peso, and quick. The shark won't be calm for long. Right ho, Peso. Nice and steady. Ah! Ooh, a wee penguin. I'm here to bandage your fin. <laughs> that tickles, Pop. <laughs> uh oh, I didn't know you were ticklish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Steady. Just have to get down to the fin. <laughs> OK, I think this calls for a super speedy triple loop around the shark fin ramp. Hurry, Peso. He could come out of his trance any second. There. Good as new. How do you feel? Oh, good. I'm hungry. Oh, no. You're out of your trance. <laughs> Peso! Flappity flippers! You saved my life. I should just say thank you, but I'm hungrier than ever! Hop on, matey! <laughs> a cat, a penguin, and a crunchy motor thingy! That's an all you can eat party! Hey, I feel fantastic! Was he the shark's after us? No problem. We just need some more speed. Hold on! <laughs> Quasi, ah. keep away from the shark for as long as you can. Copy that, Captain! I've got an idea. Tunip, come in. Uh, I need an extra large supply of fish biscuits. Shooter, Judith. <laughs> All right, Quasi, try to lead the shark towards the surface. I've got a little snack for him. <laughs> Come on, Sharky, right this way. Quasi, look. Captain, we're almost out of power. Can you get the octo ski up in the air? Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, oh, yummy! Bullseye! Yeah, we better get out of here. Uh oh. You're right. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm not hungry. You're not? Nope. The most delicious fish biscuits just flew into my mouth. It was so strange. And now I don't have to eat you, which is great, because I love you guys. You fixed my fin. Thanks. But just a warning. I could get hungry again. In that case, how about a little dessert? <laughs> Captain Barnacles to Shellington and Dashie. How's it going up there? Um, I 
bit slowly, Captain. This Arctic ice is so thick, it's taking our sonic slicer forever to cut through it. Almost. Just a little more. There! We made it through. We're heading up now to gather the ice samples, Captain. Just try to be quick. The hole you made in the ice will freeze over very fast and you won't be able to get back into the, um... Back into the water. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be quick. Over and out. Who's making that music, Captain? I'm not sure, Quasi, but it certainly is making it hard to work. Let's investigate. Oh, me hearty. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were so good at playing music. Thank you. This xylophone was a present from my Aunt Pepita. Well, you're certainly getting good, but, uh, Peso, do you think you could take a break so we can... This is Shellington calling the Octopod. Come in, Octopod. Barnacles here. Everything okay up there? Captain, we found another hole. Another hole in the ice? Yes, but that's not all. I'm sending a video through to you now, Captain. They're beluga whales, Captain. Yes, I see. But uh, what are they doing? They appear to be trapped under the pack ice. They should be in open water. Can you ask them if they need help? I'll try, but belugas are very shy creatures. Wait, please! I'm Shellington, and this is Dashi. We are the Octonauts. We might be able to help you. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. What are you doing all the way out here, under the pack ice? The water froze over us. We have to stay near this hole. But why do you need the hole? Have to breathe. Have to breathe. But why can't you just swim back out to the open water, where there isn't any ice? Too far away. Can't swim that far without breathing. Have to stay near the hole. Shellington, what do you make of this? The belugas are trapped. There's ice all around them and only a small hole where they can come up to breathe. And this hole is starting to freeze over too. It's getting smaller and smaller. We have to rescue those belugas right away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay! Octonauts, our mission is to lead the belugas back to open water where there's no ice. But we need something that can cut a path through the ice so that they can breathe along the way. Yeah, what about the sonic slicers? They're too slow. We need to act fast before the beluga's Whoa. breathing hole freezes Whoa. over. Okay, Tweak, let's see if your icebreaker attachment works. The ice isn't breaking. Pack ice is really thick. It takes a lot to break it. Just get those belugas to follow me. Belugas, this path will lead you to open waters. Have to stay near the hole where it's safe and quiet. Belugas, please follow me before the ice freezes over. Oh, no. oh dear, this is not good at all. Hmm, the belugas don't seem to want to leave their breathing hole. <laughs> 
If only they would follow Captain Barnacles. <gasps> I've got it! Fish biscuits! Huh? What's your plan, Quasi? Well, I reckon these belugas must be getting pretty hungry by now. So I brought them a little fish biscuit snack. Good to see you tuning. Stay by the hall where it's safe. Why aren't they following me? Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. So the sound of the gup sea cracking the ice and the sound of, well, quasi, probably scared them. How can we show them that this path to open water is safe? Professor Inkling, any ideas? I know exactly what sounds will make the belugas follow you. An old whale song recording. They'll hear their own sounds and follow right along. It's working! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh, my. We're losing them again. We've got to do something, Captain. The path is already starting to freeze over. That noise they make, that sounded a little bit like... Peso's music. Peso, we need you and your xylophone out here right away. Captain, are you sure this is the best time for music? This is exactly the time for music. Your music. Captain, I'm ready to play. All right, Peso. It's showtime. It's working. Peso's xylophone playing sounds just like the Beluga song. Have to stay close to the hole where it's safe. But those sounds are so nice. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. It's okay. We can breathe along this path. If we follow the nice sounds down the path, we won't be stuck here anymore. Sorry we didn't follow you at first. We belugas are always a bit shy around creatures we don't know, and all those loud noises scared us. Well, now we know each other. And we love your music. It sounds just like ours. Come on, everyone join in. Two, three, four. Ah, I don't know how to sing like a beluga. Oh, come on, Quasi. It's easy. Oh, 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 oh. Goodbye, Octonauts. Thanks again. Goodbye, Belugas. Safe journey now. Goodbye. <laughs> Octopod! Oh, I see it! I see it! We're almost there, Mum! Yes, dear. I'm so excited to see my big brother, the Octonaut. I hope they get here soon. 
Pinto, Mum, you're here. I can't wait to ask Pinto about his adventures. And look, Mum, we get to swim through the octa hatch. See how it opens. Isn't that cool? Yes, dear. We're here. I hope Pinto's waiting for us up in the launch bay. Mum, Pinto. Peso! I'm so happy to see you. Oh, Peso, let me look at you. Are you eating enough and getting enough sleep? Mum. Tell me about your undersea adventures, Peso. How many creatures have you saved? I reckon you're the bravest of all the octonauts. Oh, that's not true. I'm just one of the most valuable members of the crew. You should be very proud of Peso. My son, the medic. Thank you so much for taking us to see the Iron Clam race, Captain Barnacles. We all want to see it. I think Hugo's going to win again. Hugo wins the Iron Clam every year. What's the Iron Clam race? And who's Hugo? I'll show you. I've got some great video I shot of last year's race. There's Hugo in the sliding event. Whoa, he's fast. He broke the penguin diving record too. He went deeper than any other penguin ever has. And held his breath for more than 20 minutes. Wow, that's a long time even for a penguin. Yow! And he swims almost as fast as the gut bee. No one can beat Hugo. He's so good at everything. Are you ready to watch the Iron Clam, Pinto? I am. Actually, I have a big surprise for you. What kind of surprise? Well, since Hugo wins every year, this year, no other penguin was brave enough to go up against him. Oh, don't tell me they're cancelling the race. They were going to, until your little brother had his brilliant idea. Yep, I saved the race by finding the one penguin brave enough to compete against Hugo. Great. Who? You! <gasps> me? Is this a joke? Nope. But... I could never beat Hugo. Of course you could. You're my big brother. And you can do anything. My son, the athlete. Captain, tell them I can't do it. Who says you can't? Aye, matey. You can't give up the ship before you've even set sail. You still have time to train, Peso. The race is in Antarctica and it's going to take us a while to get there. Yes, if you work hard, you can do it, Peso. I'm happy to help. I know a little something about building strength. Mm. Please, Peso, please. Okay, I'll do it. Is it fast enough? Here we are, Captain. So tell us, Peso, how do you feel right before the big race? Nervous, but I'm feeling pretty good. Thank you. Not everything. <laughs> Almost everything. 
I don't have a chance against Hugo. Why did I ever agree to do this? Hey, Sue! Hey, Sue! Yeah! That's why. You're right. I can't let him down. And you must be Peso. I really have to thank you for signing up for the Iron Clam. Without you, I wouldn't have a chance to win again. Don't be so sure you're going to win this time, Hugo. My big brother's a great athlete. Of course he is, little guy. May the best penguin win. Even though it's kind of obvious who that's going to be. <laughs> Welcome to the Iron Clam! The race that pits penguin against penguin in three exciting events. Sliding, diving and swimming! A penguin must win two or more events to win the race and this special trophy. Oh, the Iron Clam! Event number one, sliding. I shall throw the iron clam down the slope. Then the racers will slide down after it, penguin style, on their tummies. Whoever catches it first wins the event. Let the countdown begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Quasi, activate skis. And Hugo takes an early lead in the sliding event. Look how he takes that curve. Peso's off to a, a slower start, but there's still plenty of time. A perfect turn for Hugo. Uh-oh, Peso's having some trouble. Catching up? And... Whoa. Yeah! Who says penguins can't fly? Uh, Quasi, they can't. Flappity flippers! It's a wipeout for Peso! And the winner is... Hugo! Peso, you'll catch a cold. Are you okay, Peso? I'm fine. I'm just sorry I let everybody down. Don't worry, matey. The race isn't over yet. That was just the first event. There's still two more to go. <sighs> Don't feel bad, Peso. This was your first time. The first time I did the sliding event, I almost lost too. Though, of course, I ended up winning, so that's not really the same, is it? <gasps> Please take your places for the second event. Dashi's going to use her camera to video the underwater events, so you can watch them from the octopod. <laughs> Very kind of you, Captain. Good luck, Peso. I just know you're going to win the next one. Right, I can do it. Welcome back to the Iron Clam, event number two, diving. I shall throw the iron clam into the water. Then the racers will dive down after it. Whoever brings it back to me first wins the event. Remember, if Hugo wins this, he wins it all. Let the countdown begin. Both penguins are off to a good start. They're neck and neck. Peso takes the lead. He goes for the clam. He's got the clam. He's dropped it. He's got it again. Peso's got the clam. Jumping jellyfish. Peso's got the clam. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> Oh no! He's lost it! The iron clam is sinking again! And 
This time, Hugo's closing in on it. Can you get it back? He can do it. Looks like Hugo's got the clan. Yow! That thieving dolphin just stole it. If the penguins can't get the clan back, this race is over. Dashy, it's not over yet. Those penguin wings are as good as fins underwater. Look how fast they're swimming. Like a couple of dolphins they are. Hey, dolphin! Drop that clam, please. What? Huh? Oh, we have a new twist, folks. The dolphins dropped the clam, but now a whale's got it. Yeah. Peso's got it. Oh, now Hugo's got it. Now they both got it. Give me that. It's mine. No, it's mine. I got it first. And I've got it last. <laughs> Whoa! This race is taking the Iron Clan to new heights. <laughs> I had it first. Dream on! Whoa! Wait, now an albatross has got the clam and is flying off with Peso and Hugo. Now there's a bird that can fly. But Peso and Hugo can't. We need to stay with them. Let go! No, you let go. Yeah, how about you both let go? You two are getting heavy. Drop it. You drop it. How about I drop it? Huh? Oh. Oh. I can't look. Quasi, get ready. Steady as she goes. Now, activate airbags. Thanks, Captain. And they're off. We'll catch up with you, Peso. Yeah, got it. Ooh, ooh. No, I've got it. What? Find us keepers. Tentacles off, Squiddo. It's mine. Drop it, Hugo, before you get hurt. I'm not falling for your tricks. Oh. Mine, 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 mine. After that clam. There they are. Looks like everybody wants that clam, but this race is just for penguins. Peso's looking strong, but Hugo's pulling ahead. Hugo, Hugo, of you we sing. You're so good at everything. Oh, I'm sure there must be something I'm not good at. Excuse me. Huh? Yeah. And Peso takes the clam. And the winner of the diving event is... Peso! Hey, oh, oh, excellent! Peso, oh, oh, I knew he could do it! I've been beaten? That's never happened. I might even win. I might even win. Ladies and gentle fish, for the first time in years, we have a tie. Each penguin has won one round. So, it all comes down to the third and final event. Please, take your places. Event number three, swimming. The racers will swim from one end of the trench to the other. The iron clam is waiting at the finish line. Whoever reaches it first wins the event, the race, and the iron clam. Let the countdown begin. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Hugo pulls out ahead of Peso. Come on, Peso. You can do it. Don't let him get ahead of you. Go for it, Peso. You got lucky last round, but not this time, Peso. Yo ho! Hey, hey, go, go! Uh oh! Look out! Oh no! 
There's been a terrible accident. Quasi, let's move in as close as we can and get them out of there. Aye, aye, Captain. Luckily, Peso and Hugo can hold their breath for a long time. Oh, Peso! Oh. Uh. Where is he? Is he okay? Uh. Uh. Hugo, you've hurt your flipper, but I don't think it's broken. This seaweed bandage should make you feel better. Ah, it does. But how are we going to get out of here and finish the race? Good question. I'm just afraid that if we try to move one ice block, the rest will fall on top of us. We've got to get them out of there. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Peso and Hugo are trapped under big chunks of ice. We need Gup C and D to rescue them. Come as quickly as you can. I want to come too. I have to save my brother. Sorry, Pinto, but this job is just too dangerous. You can help by staying here with your mum and looking after her. Come along, Pinto. <sighs> Octonauts, this is going to be a very tricky operation. We need to carefully remove the chunks of ice one by one, so the whole pile doesn't fall on Peso and Hugo. Tweak, you can start with that one. You got it, Cap. Don't worry, the Octonauts will get us out of here. Sorry, Camp, but this chunk of ice is too big for me to get a hold of it. Then we'll use the Gupsy. Take it slowly, Shellington. Aye, aye, sir. Last one. Easy now. Hugo, are you all right? We're okay, just a little cramped. Pinto, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Captain. I was just trying to help, but I've made it even worse. Aye, matey. The ice chunk is wedged tighter than before, and now we've got no rope to pull it with. Did you hear that? How are they going to haul the ice chunk away without rope? Good question. Wait a minute. That's it. Captain! I have an idea! Octonauts, we're going to use these seaweed ropes to lift off the ice chunk. When I give the command, we're all going to pull together. Pinto, we could use your help. Really? We need somebody to pilot the Gub B. Aye, aye, Captain! Ready? Pull! Come on. You can do it, Pinto. You did it! Thanks, Captain. Yes. Thanks for rescuing us, Octonauts. Let's get back to the race. Let the Iron Clan continue! You shouldn't be swimming, Hugo. You're injured. No pain, no gain. I'm a winner, not a quitter. Why are you swimming with me? Why don't you go on ahead and grab the clam? That's what I would do. Because 
there are more important things than winning. Like what? Like making sure you're all right. I don't understand you at all. Yeah! Ah. Go on, Peso. What are you waiting for? I can't leave you here. And I know how much winning means to you. So... Hey! What are you doing? This is incredible! Peso is carrying Hugo... ...across the finish line! For the first time in the history of the Iron Clam, we have... a tie! I must admit, folks, I don't know what to do. Who gets the clam? Definitely give it to Peso. He deserves it. Oh, that's all right. Hugo wants to win more than I do. Allow me. There. A big cheer for the winners! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! I'm so proud of you, Peso. You won the contest and you saved Hugo. My son, the hero! <laughs> oh, Mom. <laughs> I still made it out of there with this. Hmm, it's a beautiful medallion, Quasi. It's not just a medallion, me hearties. This is a treasure map. According to pirate legend, these lines lead to an underwater hidden city full of treasure. Many have gone looking for it, but none have ever succeeded. In fact, my own grandfather, great pirate Calico Jack, once set out to find it was never heard from again. It'd be the one treasure he never did find. Amazing. A hidden city. Somewhere out there in the ocean. Ah, not in the ocean, Peso. To find that hidden city, we'll have to venture into the deepest, darkest depths of the Amazon River. <clears throat> the Amazon River. Captain, that's your cue. Oh, uh, right. Um, mm, Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have a special mission ahead of us. Quasi has found a map to a hidden city, and we're going to the Amazon River to find it. Jumping jellyfish. The Amazon is the largest river on the planet. Some parts of it have never been explored. It's full of amazing creatures. Many of them only live in the Amazon. I can't wait! Excellent! Well, what are we waiting for? Mind if I drive this time, Captain? Be my guest, Quasi. Dashi, activate steering wheel. I'm on it, Captain. <laughs> Here we are, the Amazon River. 
Would you look at that? Freshwater stingrays, cable, manatees, and oh, look at those parrots! That parrot kind of looks like. Huh? Well, Quasi, which way to the hidden city? Straight ahead, Captain. Left or right, Quasi? Let's see. According to the map, um, left or right? Uh, no, 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 that's not it. Um, maybe if I turn it this way. Um, oh. Something wrong, Quasi? It, it doesn't say which way to go. This map is no good. So what should we do? We'll have to do this the pirate way. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a pirate by the toe. If me hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> Everyone okay? I... I think so, but what just happened? Cap, you better take a look at this. Of course. Falling trees are very common along the Amazon. It's nothing a little polar bear strength can't fix. Come on, everyone. One, two, three. Lift! That's it. One, two, three. Lift! Huh? Listen. <gasps> It's a tidal bore. A wave of water from the ocean is moving up the river. And it's moving fast. Everyone hang out to something. Now! <laughs> Phew. Hmm. That wave must have carried me up the river. Octonauts! Can you hear me? Quasi, Peso, anyone, come in. No sign of the gups either. Better check the gup finder on my octocompass. Oh, it must have come loose. I can't see a thing down here. Huh? Hello? Who's there? Hola! Whoa! A dolphin in a river? That's right! I'm a river dolphin! The name's Bertha. I've lived my whole life right here in the Amazon. I'm Captain Barnacles, leader of the Octonauts. And, uh, I seem to have lost my octocompass. Hmm. Is it small? Round? Smooth? Yes, but how did you know? Found it for you! Thanks, Berta. You're wondering how I did that, aren't you? Well, I used the special sounds to find things in the murky water. I uh, don't suppose you could help me find my crew. We came up the river looking for the hidden city. A hidden city? Here in the Amazon? Oh, this I gotta see! <laughs> when the tidal bore swept us all away. I tell you, I've seen some big waves in my day. Wait. Just around the bend. Some kind of a struggle. Like something's hurt. Peso! Shh. I've got a bit of a situation here, Captain. This poor eel, the wave tangled her up. Stay back, or I might do something crazy. <laughs> That's not just any eel. 
That's an electric eel. When it gets upset. <laughs> that was just a little taste. Careful, Peso. I've got this, Captain. Easy now. I'm not going to hurt you. Better not. Or else. Or else. <laughs> Shh. I just need to... There. But my tail, it still hurts. I'll just bandage that up for you. Hey, so. What's the big idea? Scaring me like that? I gotta. Hey, my tail. It feels better. Thanks. No problem. Good work, Peso. <laughs> Eat up, Quasi. Tis good to see you again. You were just a wee kitten when I first came here looking for the hidden city. But what happened? You've been missing for years. Nah, the old thing was cursed from the start. Twas smooth sailing when Pete and I first set off up the Amazon. But little did we know that the rainy season was about to begin. My ship was nearly destroyed, but was still seaworthy until it was attacked by a flotilla of furious fire ants. I was forced to abandon ship and take me chances in the river. But an even bigger danger lurked beneath the waves. A gigantic green anaconda snake, nearly as long as the river itself. We tussled mightily as the current swept us downstream towards waters even more treacherous and certain doom. Luckily, Pete spoke out morning just in time. And? And what? The Hidden City. Did you ever find it? Nah, not yet, Quasi. I've been going in circles for all these years, thanks to this no-good map. Hold on. Ah. Well, I'll, I'll be, be a, a sea monkey's, monkey's uncle. uncle. It takes both parts to make the full map. Hoo-hoo! Well, what are we lollygagging around here for? Let's go! Captain, look! That's Dashie's camera. Hmm, but where's Dashy? Dashy? Dashy, are you? I found this Arapaima on the riverbank. We need to get him back in the water. Oh no, he can't breathe. <gasps> oh no, but I can. We Arapaimas can gulp air to breathe. <gasps> like this. <gasps> but only for a little while. Don't worry, we're here to help. Peso, you take that fin. Dashy, you take that one. <laughs> oh, that oh, oh, thank you, my friends. You're welcome. But what were you doing on the river bank? <laughs> that wave tossed me, the biggest fish in the Amazon, right up onto the river bank. Look what it did to my camera. That thing up there. Hmm. You better let me help you with that. Wait till you see this. Oh, thanks. Now, how about a picture? A picture? Oh, but certainly. <laughs> That's nothing, Quasi. Hang on! I still can't believe it. I'm on a treasure hunt with Calico Jack. Oh, Quasi. Call me Grandad. Aye, aye, Grandad. Yo, we're getting close now. I can feel it in my peg leg. The hidden city should be just on the other side of this marsh. <laughs> Grandad, did you just... Listen, I've got a funny feeling about this place. It's almost like someone's... Whoa! Oh, what 
What a cute little baby! <laughs> Not too friendly, though. This marsh is ours. No one may enter. Uh, yeah. What are those things? Capybaras. I've never seen a map like this before. <laughs> and stay out. Ooh, didn't see that coming. <sighs> We're getting closer to the gup, eh? Just a little bit further. <gasps> oh, hello there. Hungry. Ooh. Hey, Jenna, I'm not sure I like the look of these fish. Any idea what they are, Berta? Those guys? They're piranhas. Ah, piranhas. Piranhas? <laughs> Captain, up here! Shellington, tune in! Just in time, Captain. Those piranhas nearly made you their lunch. I was trying to tell you! The piranhas aren't hungry for you! They hardly ever eat anything bigger than themselves! Huh? Then why are they chasing us? They sometimes get excited when they smell something they like. Hungry! But what could they be smelling? Aha! Oh, fascinating! Junip, your fish biscuits are a big hit. <laughs> yeah, it is a riddle, Quasi. The capybaras are usually gentle creatures. What's gotten into them? They must be protecting something. Like a hidden city. Can we sneak past them? No, that's just what they'd be expecting. We've got to surprise them. We've got to swashbuckle them. We've got to do this the pirate way. Yeah! Something big up ahead. The guppy. Oh, it's still stuck, though. Don't worry, Cal. Tweak! I found someone who can help us. Of course. That's a banak. A wood-eating catfish. I found him nibbling some old rotten tree stems. I figured he could use a proper meal. Mmm, nice and fresh. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Mr. Catfish. Anytime. <laughs> All right, everyone, into the guts. We've still got one more octonaut to find. Woohoo! You're doing great, Quasi! This way! I'm right behind you, Granddad! Yeah! And the come to snake! Happy virus. Tasty. Granddad, look! It's my children, honey! Oh, they was just protecting their wee ones. Aye, and we've brought a hungry anaconda into their midst. We've got to help them. Ah! Over here, you big slithery beast. You leave them little capybaras alone. Never tasted one of those before. Ah! Keep him busy, Quasi. Here you go, little mateys. <laughs> Granddad, look out! <laughs> it's more of Over here, snakeys! You keep scooping and I'll... Yeah! Snack time! There's too many of them, Quasi! We can't give up, Granddad! The pirate way, remember? Or how about the Octonaut way? Ha-ha! <laughs> right on time, Captain. <gasps> Is that... Ahoy! No These capybaras need our help. A good thing we brought back up. <laughs> Octonaut, let's do this. Good work.
work, Octonauts. Thank you for your help, everyone. And thank you, um... Octonauts, meet the greatest cat pirate who ever lived. My granddad, Calico Jack. Calico Jack. Ooh. Good to meet you. Smile. Tis the greatest of pleasures, Octonauts. But now is not the time for talking. We still need to find the Hidden City. Come on, mateys. It's just on the other side of this marsh. You mean our marsh. Which we will let you pass through. Thank you for helping us. Come on, everybody. To the Hidden City. This must be it. Get ready to feast your eyes on... Where is it? It should be right here. <sighs> After all that. Wait. Huh, the tidal bore must have filled the lagoon with muddy water, and now it's washing back out. Look. Oh, oh shiver me whiskers. Freshwater sponges. Incredible. Well, I guess this is your hidden city, Quasi. You mean... There's no treasure? Oh, tis the hunt for the treasure that counts, Quasi. But we've had ourselves a wild one. Yeah, we have, haven't we? Dumping jellyfish. These fish, I've never seen anything like them, any of them. They're all new species. This really is a treasure. Well done, you two. <laughs> They're beautiful. That's my work. Well, Quasi, time for me to set sail. <gasps> oh, I've spent enough time here in the Amazon. I've got a lot more adventures to have, treasures to find and swashbuckling to do. <laughs> what say you join me? Me? Go with you? Picture it. Calico Jack and Quasi, together on the seven seas. Granddad, Quasi, come and have a look at these fish. There's a really fast one you're going to love. Well, Quasi? Oh, it would be an honour to set sail with you, Granddad. But there's only one ship I sail on now, and that's the Octopod. The truth is, I'll always have the heart of a pirate, but I'm an Octonaut now. Oh, I understand. Tis a hearty crew you've got there, Quasi. You're a good pirate. And a brave octonaut. Come on, Pete, get a flap on. Ah. Fare thee well, Quasi. Ah, goodbye. Keep an eye out for me wherever you set sail. Aye, aye, Grandad. Aye, aye. Amazing. Dumping jellyfish. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> All right, mateys, let's see these fish. Shiver me whiskers. He is a fast one. Look at that one. He's a fast little bird. And over there, that's the silverest fish I've ever seen. This is amazing. How do I look? Great. Ready, Sandy? You know me. I'm always ready. And so is the Sandy Cam. This special camera will stay on your back through almost anything. And we'll be able to see whatever you see. In the sea. Now, hold on to your hats and enjoy the turtle eye view. Good day. Let's invite Shellington down to take a look. I've got a better idea. <laughs> look at her go. Thank you. Whoever said turtles are slow never met Sandy. Wow, look at all those fish. Oh, there's a trigger fish. A parrotfish. Oh, that's a blue-headed wrasse. Whoa. A pod of dolphins. And they're in a hurry. They look scared. Wonder what they're afraid of. Tiger shark. A young one, but big. Sandy, get out of there! Sandy's fast. She might have lost him. Turn the camera around. <gasps> oh, me <man>, no. <laughs> Fish, open the up to hatch. Already on it. Well, it took all day, but...
but we explored the whole reef. Oh, can't wait to get back to the octopus. Was that Tweak? In the gut, B? What's she doing in my gut? Captain, Sandy was being chased by a tiger shark and we lost contact with her. Tweak is... We know, and we're right behind her. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah! Octonauts, to your stations. <laughs> creatures, Captain. Big and fast and with great eyesight, even in the dark, making them terrific hunters. They're called the waste basket of the sea because they'll eat almost anything, especially dolphins and, uh... Yes, how to put this delicately, turtles. Captain, Tweak's reached the part of the reef where we last saw Sandy. Tweak, any sign of Sandy? I don't see her anywhere. Looks like that shark got a bite out of the Sandy camp. But where's Sandy? Tweak! Look out! Oh! oh me, oh my! Another new thing to eat! Yum! I love this reef! Pull out that tiny shark! the shark. Aye, aye, Captain. Now, Tweak, you lead the shark away. When I'm clear of the reef, I'll hit the turbo button. Yoo-hoo! Don't forget about me! Hey, come back here! <laughs> Okie dokie, it's turbo time. Yeah! Hey, that's my line. Hold still. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Peso. I'm just glad you're okay. Me too. The shark almost got me till I ducked behind this reef. But oh, I don't know what happened to the sandy cam. Uh-oh. Shellington did say they'd eat anything. <laughs> How come the more I eat, the more my tummy hurts? You sure you want to go through with this, matey? I've got to take a look inside that shark's stomach with my X-ray viewer. He may be in as much danger as Sandy was. Careful, Peso. Not too close. Flappity flippers. I think I see the Sandy can and a lot of other things that shouldn't be in that shark's stomach. Another new thing to eat. Captain, those things will make the shark sick. I've got to go. Hazer, are you all right? I'm fine, but I'm afraid there's one more thing that shouldn't be in that shark's stomach. Yum! That was... <laughs> Yucky. Actually, nothing I've eaten today tastes very good. And I'm still hungry. Uh-oh, the engine's in trouble. Oh! Oh!
Where did Tweet go? The gap's radio stopped working, but she's not far. She's in a cave. With a shark? Hello? Hello? Oh. I, I can't see you. Are you all right? I was going to eat you, but now my stomach ooh, really hurts. That's because you ate our camera. Was that the yucky thing I ate? Or the other yucky thing I ate? Oh. What's your name? Tom. Tom the Tiger Shark. Well, Tom, out there, I have a friend named Peso, and he helps any creature who's hurt or sick. Even sharks? Oh, yeah. Now, since tiger sharks can see so well in the dark, how about you help me get out of this cave? Then, Peso can help you get that ache out of your tummy. Deal? Deal. Here we go. The gut can't fit. It's too narrow. We'll have to swim in. I hope we reach Tweak before... Captain, look! Slowing through! All right, Tom. Just open wide and... Oh. Um, was I supposed to eat that? Uh, no. Tom, maybe you should let my friends hold your mouth open so Peso can get that stuff out of you. Well, okay. Will it hurt? Not if you keep absolutely still. Okay. Easy there, matey. Just a little bit to the left. And... Yes! I've got something! Ooh. Uh, you might want to give that a clean before you use it again. There's the sound you can. Oh my, that's not all. I think that's it. Yow! No wonder they called you the waste basket of the sea. How do you feel, Tom? Much better. But now I'm really hungry. Try these! Yum! Another new thing to eat! Bye! <laughs> He's eating those carrots faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy tweak! What have you done to me, Gup? Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Fish. That one's a blue-headed wrasse. That one over there is a surgeon fish. What's that one over there? That's, uh, uh, well, from here it sort of looks like an old boot. Old boot? Ah, oh, that's a weird name for a fish. No, I mean it actually is an old boot. It's just some rubbish. Shiver me whiskers. There's rubbish and litter everywhere. Dashy, any idea where it's coming from? It looks like debris from a storm, and it's moving along pretty fast. A current is pulling it all into this bay here. That's not good. A bay like that must be home to all kinds of creatures. They could get tangled up in the litter, or try to eat it and get sick. Then we need to get to that bay before the rubbish does. Dashy, activate manual steering. Already on it, Captain. and begin warning any creatures you see. Avast, garden eels! There's a bunch of dangerous rubbish headed this way. You better take cover. Sounds like a real mess. Hey, thanks. Well, that was easy. everyone. Looks like all the creatures have either left the bay or found shelter. Just in time too. The debris is almost here. Then I guess we're ready to begin Operation Cleanup. Wait, do you hear that? Rappity-rappity! <laughs> 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 
lot of dolphins. Look at me! Not just any dolphins, spinner dolphins. What? I said they're spinner dolphins. Look how they're leaping out of the water. Spinner dolphins love to jump and splash around. <laughs> and speed! We'd better get them out of the bay before the litter gets here. Attention dolphins! Can I have your attention please? Um, better turn up the volume. Ahem! Attention! I'm Captain Barnacles of the Octonauts and we need to warn you about... Ah, it's no use, Captain! These spinner dolphins are just too noisy! Ah, that's better. If I could just have your attention... Sorry, friend. It'll have to wait. It's time for us to power down. Power down? Excuse me. Are you looking for the way out of the bay? It shouldn't take long if you just... No, don't leave. Hello? It's like they can't hear me. Fascinating. I've read about this, but I've never actually seen it. Do you know what's going on, Shellington? I think so, Captain. This is how spinner dolphins sleep. They swim together along the seafloor like they're on autopilot. They can sleep and swim at the same time. That's right. It's a bit like sleepwalking, but in this case, sleep swimming. Can they see? Sort of, but they can't really hear while they're in their sleep state. I guess we should wake them up then. Quasi, no. Spinner dolphins always go to sleep at certain times of the day. Waking them up early could frighten and confuse them. Well, we better do something. The debris is starting to wash into the bay. Looks like this cleanup just got a little more complicated. Octonauts, circle formation. <laughs> We've got to clean up this mess and keep these sleeping dolphins safe at the same time. Tweak, clear a path through the rubbish for the dolphins. You got it, Cap. Quasi, Dashy, Shellington and Tunin, you gather up the rubbish and bring it to Pacer and me on the beach. Super, super! Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> to keep safe. Don't worry, mateys. I'll clear a path for these dolphins. And I'll stay with these guys. Oh, that's odd. When I go right, they go right. When I go left, they follow me to the left. Ah, ah. Follow me, guys. Christ is here to lead the way. Amazing. In their sleep states, the dolphins must think the gut bee is part of the pod. Keep it up, Quasi. <laughs> I could keep this up all day, Captain. As long as these dolphins stay asleep, I can keep them safe and... Uh-oh. Double uh-oh. What? What's going on? <gasps> the bee! It's full of litter! we got to get out of here! Oh, I think we might have a bit of a situation here. I don't like this. Attention, dolphins. If you could just calm down for a moment. 
To keep this up much longer, someone's gonna get hurt. We have to get them out of here. That's what I've been trying to tell them. But you didn't say anything. Wait a minute. You made that exact sign jump earlier. It must mean something. Not the jump, the splash. We spinner dolphins make different splashes that mean different things. It's like our own special language. That splash means follow me. So why aren't the other dolphins following you? Oh, they're making so much noise that they can't hear my splash. Hmm. Maybe we can help you make a louder splash. <laughs> Leave that to me, Captain. Now what's going into them? You just told them there's a hungry shark nearby. Do it like this. Ah, let me try that again. What did I say this time? You just told them to swim in circles. Quasi, take a look at this. It looks like she does a leap, spin, double twist, then splash. Try to copy her exactly. Leap, spin, double twist, splash. Got it. Dolphins are safe. Thanks for the help, Octonauts. And sorry our napping caused so many problems. Should we show them our new splash quasi? On three, matey. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, ho, very impressive. What does that one mean? Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. 